Good morning, folks. Plasma filaments reaching tall at the limb. We're going to look at a pattern change in the weather, stars dancing, a double dust deluxe, and the fire simulations. Let's begin at spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on our star, very quiet. Minor dark coronal holes present as they turn across, while the bright crackling active region approaches center disk today on the south. That actually is a pretty generous name given the lack of proper sunspots beneath it. It is an umbral field and surface magnetism formation only. Let's look at the solar wind. We see that the phi angle flip has not been followed by intensified solar wind streams. Much of the coronal hole stream is indeed sailing too far south to hit Earth, and geomagnetic conditions do remain quiet. Let's take a quick look at the U.S. and notice the orange for the heat in the southeast. That is going to change here in the coming days and bring a more fall-like seasonability to the region as the jet stream dips in hard over the central United States and spreads that chilly cheer the Rockies have enjoyed the last few days with the remainder of the country. Let's go out to space with the Pipe Nebula next. This dark feature does have some bright points and two of them appear to be circling. Here is an animation of what they say is ongoing as these stars dance as they form but I want you to notice the central region between the stars appears darker. This is a ever more common and deeply troubling aspect of simulating astrophysical plasmas. You might recall this issue broke onto the scene with those black hole simulations that simply asked the computer to leave that area blank, too hard to model. Well, it's sort of infecting the remainder of the simulations. In reality, that region is like a double Lagrange point. Material should actually accumulate there as not only the barycenter between the objects, but because of the higher plasma pressure circling it. Let's do some dust next. First, an interesting piece on the ice core dust that helps us learn more about the onset of the last ice age. It's a very interesting read, but also a reminder that during the last interglacial, temperatures were 8 degrees Celsius higher than they are today. More on that in our final notes. But let's go to space dust up next. Interesting commitment from NASA to break down the fine detail of dusty plasma in the cosmos. More importantly, the trashing of the old simplified models and the painstaking evaluation of the dust formation dynamics of all 92 naturally occurring elements, and then putting them all together at the scales of the cosmos. That is a big move. Now, let's have some fun. You are a particle here and you are on a ride through and around a forming galaxy. Where do you end up? How long does it take to get there? Folks, a new paper has been published using the fire simulations. The most critical aspect of the new paper is that they are realizing that the metallicity of the circumgalactic medium, the material surrounding the galaxies, has absolutely nothing to do with its origin. The plasma and gas and dust and everything else that coalesces in the cosmic web and feeds down onto the galaxies ends up going on such a crazy ride through those galaxies, often more than once, often filled with collisions and photoionization events, that they are determining most of all that what they thought they knew and had put into their presumptions simply doesn't work. Folks, sometimes we get revelations, and other times it's merely the recognition that more work needs to be done. Both this new work using the fire simulations and NASA's dusty promise we heard a minute ago are forms of the latter, but are the first steps towards rectifying these cosmological paradigms in the proper direction of plasma. Last but not least, folks, the last interglacial was 8 degrees warmer than it is now. Max global warming thus far has been 1 degree. Life thrived during the last interglacial, and our current one is almost over. We're overdue, actually, for a return to the ice where nature will throw a 20-degree drop at the planet, or more. The entire story is in Climate Forcing, our movie from August. It is linked below the video, alongside Cosmic Disaster and Plasma Cosmology. The idea was to give three short films to catch you up on 80% of the top items of coverage here at the channel in the nine years we've been covering it. Website members, your Fly on the Wall podcast will actually occur tomorrow. We are on a one-day delay due to a little bit of travel my wife and I are doing right now. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.